Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun and um, a little bit informational to do a little updated day in my life and kind of share with you guys how my days have been going and how I've been handling my injury. Um, if you're new here, I recently injured my knee, um, figure skating. Right now the uh, diagnosis, I guess you could say, is... Um, we're hoping it's just a sprained slash strained knee. We'll talk a little bit about that more later. Right now I'm just starting out my morning. I just showered, um, no exercise for me today. I've been doing two to three upper body days a week, kind of spacing them out, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, I was doing some treadmill walking on the other days, but per my physical therapist saying yesterday, I should not probably be doing that, so. No more of that for me, which is okay, I guess. <laughs> but um, I'm making my coffee right now. And then I'm going to do some journaling and plan out my day. Because I haven't been able to actually go to work the past couple weeks, I've really been enjoying my mornings to myself. I've really been loving sitting down before I go through social media and journaling and then planning out my day so that I'm prepared and then I'm starting my morning out on a positive note. So with that, I'm going to finish making my coffee. I'm gonna journal a little bit and then we will chat more about what's going on in my life. So I just finished doing some journaling and planning out my day and the rest of the week. Um, so I thought that I would just chat with you guys a little bit about what's going on in my life. Um, so yes, um, if you haven't seen, I do have a knee injury. Um, luckily, nothing major was torn, no ligaments were torn, and nothing is broken, which is probably the best news you could hear for any injury right now um i'm doing physical therapy we're hoping that that is just going to get me right back to where i was and it's just going to take time to heal um but there still is a slight possibility that something could be up internally um the only thing that they were not able to test due to my pain level and my lack of range of motion was my meniscus but we're hoping that we don't get that far. Um, I started physical therapy yesterday and um, I will not be going on as many walks as I have been lately. Um, I personally thought that that was good for my knee to be moving it, but um, because of the way that I limp still, she uh, is wanting me to go back to using a crutch. Um, so that I can really focus on walking with full range of motion instead of limping around Which means probably not a lot of walks, especially not on my own I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's been pretty difficult. Um, I'm a super active person and 
just not being able to be in the gym five days a week that alone has been a struggle for me and then once i thought that i was um, able to kind of walk around more and get that exercise in that was nice and now i'm being told that's probably not the best idea um so yeah it is it's been it's been a struggle and you know it would be for anybody i feel but um, there are so many positives here that we need to focus on and the fact that I can still get upper body lifts in every week is great and um, I'm going to be practicing my walking uh, with my crutch so I will be using that as some sort of movement and exercise so that I'm not just sitting on the couch all day. Um, it's a really nice day out today, but I won't be going for a walk, um, especially now that I have to use a crutch to walk. I think I might just um, walk up and down the hallway at my apartment, <laughs> um, really focusing on that range of motion, doing those exercises that the physical therapist gave me to do. But yes, this is where we're at right now, and um, we're just, I'm hoping for a speedy recovery. I've been uh, trying really hard to do everything that they're telling me to do, trying to stay as positive as I can, but I'm human and I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been struggling lately, I really have, and um, that's okay, that's okay, we get through it, we take it one day at a time, but yeah, I can't wait to um, be able to get back to my regular routine, my gym routine, and um, start getting some muscle back in my legs. We're gonna get back to where we were. Um, obviously, life happens and things change and you can't always plan um, your life out that far because stuff happens. You know, I was really planning on using this fall and winter to grow in the gym, to put on a lot of muscle, to bulk a little bit. And um, yeah, I kind of, that, it's kind of not gonna happen. Um, we're trying, but it's okay. We're we're gonna get back to it. I promise you guys. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna take you guys along the rest of my day, just kind of show you guys what I've been doing now that I can't go to work. But um, I have some emails to respond to today, some DMs to respond to, and then client plans to finish up and send out for next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe to help support me, and um, I will see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I am dressed. We've got some major cozy vibes going on today, but um, usually I stay in my robe for a really long time just because putting pants on is a hassle. But yeah, we're major cozy vibes today. Um, Oh, my allergies for some reason are like off the charts right now. <sighs> We're gonna make breakfast now and maybe another cup of coffee, I'm not sure. But, so I got oat milk from the store and I like oat milk, but this brand, let me show you. This is the brand that I got. I just picked it up from, um, our like local food place. I don't like it and I can't drink it in my coffee alone. I've been trying, it's just like, it has a weird texture. It's almost like grainy, I don't know. Maybe I just need to shake it more, but I'm not sure if I wanna have another cup of coffee just because I don't have any other milk, but maybe we will, we'll see. Um, for breakfast, I am making an English muffin with some peanut butter, banana, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on top because yum. Um, I just used a little bit of the oat milk and then I put two stevia and then I topped it with cinnamon. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it, but hopefully it's good. Yeah, that's not bad. 
Can't live without coffee. I think this is done. All right, we have our breakfast. Yummy. Coffee. And, whoa, water, of course. Don't forget to drink your water. Super important. But I can't carry this all at once, so I'll see you in a second. All right, we're all set up now in my room at my desk. I got my computer here. Just gonna do some computer work. And yeah, that should be the rest of my morning. But I'm gonna eat my breakfast while I do some computer work. I might watch like a YouTube video um, while I eat, just cause I like to do that um, instead of like work, work, work. But. I do like to get my work done in the morning just so that I can do whatever I feel like the rest of the day. But that's what we're going to do and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I've been sitting for a while so I'm going to do some cleaning around my apartment and listen to uh, my audiobook, kind of move around, stretch my knee out and yeah, we're just going to... Um, get up from the desk and get moving. Um, so here's your reminder um, If you have a desk job if you work from home if you've just been sitting around all day Perfectly fine to take rests and breaks But make sure that you get up and you move around every once in a while. It's good for your body But yeah, let's get cleaning A couple things one I look like a crazy person Please tell me I'm not the only one that looks like this after they clean Two, I am exhausted. You don't realize, like, after taking so much time off or, like, one part of your body's not working, how exhausting simple tasks can be. Like, I'm tired. Like, my breathing was, like, like, extra just from cleaning. But there is literally no better feeling than having a clean and cozy apartment and that is just what we have right now and I feel so good and I'm probably gonna go lay down now but let me let me just show you guys she's all nice and clean I did the bathroom in my bedroom too but it just feels good and it felt good to get up and moving for the past like hour um, it's almost lunchtime. I'm not super hungry, but um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go lay down for a little bit, respond to some Instagram comments, respond to some TikTok comments. Um, also, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that are here, to all of you that are here and also on my Instagram and my TikTok. Um, this morning I woke up to 8,000 followers on TikTok and I could not be more grateful for you guys. Um, we now have 150 people here on YouTube. Just a couple weeks ago, we had about 40. Um, I know it's still very small, but I am so incredibly grateful for all of you. I could not do what I do without you, and um, I'm just so happy that I get to do what I love and share it with you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here, for being active here, and following along with me on this journey. So it might be a little nap time right now. We'll see. Um, I'll probably see you guys when I have lunch. really good and fortunately for me I really like veggies I know a lot of people don't um, so that can be hard but if you can do this um, it has really helped me get my greens in and I just throw it all in an air fryer because um, that's the quickest way
I find too that if you cut up your veggies in smaller pieces, um, it tastes better and it's like almost easier to eat just because like it's so small that if you put like a little sauce on there or you get it with some rice, you can almost barely taste it. So I always cut up my broccoli really small because I don't like to eat the big chunks of it. I also um, actually really like Brussels sprouts in the air fryer or um, roasted. This is a food that I would not go near when I was younger, um, but recently over quarantine I tried them and I actually really liked them. So if you don't like Brussels sprouts and you haven't tried them in a while or there's food out there that you haven't tried in a while because you think you don't like it, I encourage you to go and like try it because you might actually like it. Air fryer is full, and I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil over that. Just a little bit. And then I season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. shake so everything gets coated usually spill because my air fryer is really small but it works for me and then we're gonna pop her in the air fryer Step two, you put a scoop of rice in it. Now we wait for the veggies, but I'm going to show you what I like to top it with. Sad day, I'm almost out of my sriracha, but this light yum yum sauce, 90 calories for two tablespoons. The original one is like 180. Um, sriracha, I'm almost out of. Let me put that on my grocery list. I want to chat with you guys because I live alone and I don't really talk to people much until like the end of the day. Like if I go to Ethan's or like tonight when I go to skating, that'll be my first human interaction for the day. Which sometimes it's nice. I'm a very independent person. I like to be alone, but um, I'm alone a lot, especially now that I can't go to work. So let's talk about some... Oh. The veggies are done. Alright. Veggies are done. Just gonna pour them in here. Spill, because I always spill. Put that in the sink. Look delicious. Literally a huge bowl of veggies. Alright, top it with some sriracha. Don't want to use all of it because I'm almost out. I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow, I think. And then some yum yum. If it comes out, this stuff, like I wish it would come out smoother. Oops. That's probably good. And there we have it. I think I'm just gonna cozy up on the couch for a little bit and watch some Gossip Girl. I know I'm late to the game, but I just started watching Gossip Girl because I ran out of things to watch. So if you guys have like Netflix or Hulu show recommendations, please give them to me because I am bored. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, eat lunch today, okay? Don't skip meals.
we're back and we're presentable. So it is obviously time for me to go to skating. Um, fixed my hair, threw on a hat, changed my outfit, put my good old brace on, got my coat because it's chilly. I'm leaving a little bit early because I usually stop and get a coffee and then um, like a sandwich from Starbucks for my dinner. Um, today, I guess, is happy hour, buy one, get one, which uh, I might not be able to go to Starbucks. If the line is really long, I'll probably just go to like Mocha, one of the other coffee shops around here. Um, but I'm going to bring a granola bar with me just in case I can't get any food. Um, but yeah, Starbucks happy hour is insane and I'm not a fan of it. So hopefully I can get a coffee from there, but if not, I'll just treat myself to some mocha. And this um, granola bar is a quantum energy square. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, but they are coffee infused granola bars. They actually sent me these and I was so excited because obviously I'm in love with coffee and this bar is equal to one espresso shot. So good caffeine, good energy. Um, but yeah, I do have a code with them. If you guys are interested, you can get a sample box for I think like $5. You can get all three bars and try out their three different flavors. This flavor is the dark chocolate and pink Himalayan salt. Haven't had it yet, but um, yeah, I've liked the other flavors a lot. There's a peanut butter chocolate and then like a coconut almond, I believe. And they're super good. Um, the macros are great. They're 200 calories, 19 grams of carbs. Where's the protein? 10 grams of protein, you know? So, gonna take this with me in case I can't get food, but we are off to skating. Um, so yeah, I definitely went to Mocha. Um, I should have known Starbucks line was literally wrapped around the parking lot and like all the way out to the road, so. Um, I got an almond milk latte from Mocha and then I'm gonna have my little granola bar and then I'll eat when I get home as well because I know that's not enough. Um, for dinner it's just really hard to pack meals to go um, for skating but yep I'm just gonna head that way now and I will see you guys probably after all right you guys I am back from skating I forgot my tripod of my car of course so um, not the best quality here but skating was good um, I didn't get any footage just because it was raining on the way there and then snowing on the way back so I really just wanted to focus on getting home and yeah, um, now it's about 8.30 and I think I'm gonna have some ice cream and I'm gonna cozy up in bed and maybe watch a movie, watch some Gossip Girl, um, just kind of like chill out for the rest of the night. So yes, that is my day. Um, this is what I'm doing now. This is how I'm dealing with everything. Sorry, I'm just putting my dishes away. This is how I'm dealing with everything in my life so um, just know that life's gonna throw things your way and you can handle them 100% um, as tough as it may be you are strong enough to get through it and keep working hard and get to those goals so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it um, please let me know if you are enjoying these videos if you want to see certain types of videos also let me know that as well um, I would love to hear from you guys, but thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week.